artificial intelligence, or AI, consists of related technologies that try to stimulate human thought behavior, including thinking, speaking, feeling, and reasoning. AI technologies apply computers to areas that require knowledge, perception, reasoning, understanding, and cognitive ability. To achieve these capabilities, computers must be able to do the following. Understand common sense, understand facts and manipulative qualitative data, deal with exceptions and discontinuity, understand relationship between facts, interact with humans in their own language, and deal with new situations based on previous learning. Information systems are concerned with capturing, storing, retrieving, and working with data, but AI technologies are concerned with generating and displaying knowledge and facts. As you know, information technologies are used to support many phases of decision making. The most recent development in AI technologies promise new areas of decision making support. Decision makers use information technologies in the following types of decision making analysis. What is analysis is commonly used in transaction processing systems and management information systems. What if analysis is used in decision support systems? Decision makers use it to monitor the effect of a change in one or more variables. Robots are one of the most successful applications of AI. You're probably familiar with robots used in factories or ones you've seen in the news. Soft robots are not made of hard physical materials like conventional robots. They're made of materials similar to rubber. They're soft, simpler to make, and less expensive than conventional robots. Developments in AI-related fields such as expert systems and natural language processing will affect the future development of the robotics industry. Expert systems mimic human expertise in a particular field to solve a problem in a well-defined area. They mimic human expertise in a particular field to solve a problem in a well-defined area. An expert system consists of programs that mimic human thought behavior in a specific area that human experts have solved successfully. Decision support systems generate information by using data, models, and well-defined algorithms, but expert systems also work with heuristic data. A knowledge acquisition facility is a software package with manual or automated methods for acquiring and incorporating new rules and facts so the expert system is capable of growth. A knowledge base is similar to a database, but in addition to storing facts and figures, it keeps track of rules and expectations associated with facts. Facts related to a specific discipline, subject, or problem are known as factual knowledge. Heuristic knowledge are rules related to a problem or discipline. Meta-knowledge is knowledge about knowledge. It enables an expert system to learn from experience and examine and extract relevant facts to determine the path to its solution. It also guides future planning or execution phases of an expert system. Knowledge Base Management System, KBMS, similar to a DBMS, is used to keep the knowledge base updated with changes to facts, figures, and rules. The user interface is the same as the user interface component of a decision support system. An explanation facility performs tasks similar to what a human expert does by explaining to end users how recommendations are derived. An interface engine is similar to the model-based component of a decision support system. In forward channeling, a series of if-then-else condition pairs are performed. The if condition is evaluated first, then the corresponding then-else action is carried out. In backward chaining, the expert system starts with the goal and the then part and backtracks to find the right solution. Based reasoning, known as CBR, is a problem-solving technique that matches a new case, a problem, with a previously solved case and its solution, both stored in a database. 
Each case in the database is stored with the description and keywords that identify it. If there's no exact match between the new case and cases stored in the database, the system can query the user for clarification or more information. In design and implementation of a case-based reasoning application, there are four R's involved. Retrieve, reuse, revise, and retain. In the long term, these systems can improve customer service and save money by reducing the number of help desk employees. Intelligent agents, also known as bots, are software capable of reasoning and following rule-based processes. A sophisticated intelligent agent has the following characteristics. They're able to learn from previous knowledge and go beyond information given previously. In other words, the system can make adjustments. Autonomy. They're able to operate with minimum input. The system can respond to environmental stimuli, make a decision without users telling it to do so, and then take preemptive action if needed. Collaborative. They're able to work and cooperate with other agents to achieve a common objective. Interface. They're able to interact with users in a more natural language. Mobility. They're able to migrate from one platform to another with a minimum of human intervention. Reactivity. They're able to select problems or situations that need attention and act on them. An agent with this capability typically responds to environmental stimuli. Most intelligent agents today fall short of these capabilities, but improvement is expected in the near future. One important application of intelligent agents that already is available is web marketing. Intelligent agents are also used for smart or interactive catalogs called virtual catalogs. These display product descriptions based on customers' previous experiences as well as their preferences. Categories can include shopping and information agents, personal agents, data mining agents, and monitoring and surveillance agents. Shopping and information agents help users navigate through the vast resources available on the web and provide better results in finding information. Personal agents perform specific tasks for a user, such as remembering information or filling out web forms or completing email addresses after the first few characters are typed. Data mining agents work with a data warehouse, detecting trends and discovering new information and relationships among data items that were not readily apparent. Monitoring and surveillance agents usually track and report on computer equipment and network systems to predict when a failure or crash might occur. The logic allows a smooth transition between human and computer vocabularies and deals with variation in terms by using a degree of membership. A degree of membership shows how relevant an item or an object is to a set. A higher number indicates it is more relevant, and a lower number shows it is less relevant. Fuzzy logic is designed to help computers simulate vagueness and uncertainty in common situations. Fuzzy logic allows computers to reason in a fashion similar to humans and makes it possible to use approximations and vague data yet produce clear and definable answers. Fuzzy logic works based on the degree of membership in a set, a collection of objects. In a conventional set, sometimes called a crisp set, membership is defined in a black or white fashion. There's no room for gray. Fuzzy logic has been used in search engines, chip design, database management systems, software development, and other areas. Machine learning is a process and procedure by which knowledge is gained through experience. Artificial Neural Networks ANDs, are networks that learn and are capable of performing tasks that are difficult with conventional computers, such as playing chess, recognizing patterns in faces and objects, and filtering spam email. Like expert systems, ANDs are used for poorly structured problems when data is fuzzy and uncertainty is involved. An AND creates a model based on input and output. 
For example, in a loan application problem, input data consists of income, assets, number of dependents, job history, and residential status. After processing many loan applications, an AN can establish a pattern that determines whether an application should be approved or rejected. Genetic algorithms, GAs, are search algorithms that mimic the process of natural evolution. Genetic algorithms are used for optimization problems that deal with many input variables, such as jet engine design, portfolio development, and network design. Genetic algorithms are already used with neural networks and fuzzy logic systems to solve scheduling, engineering, design, and marketing problems, among others. Natural Language Processing, NLP, was developed so users could communicate with computers in human language. An NLP system provides a question and answer setting that is more natural and easy for people to use. It's particularly useful with databases. The size and complexity of human language has made developing NLP systems difficult. However, progress has been steady in NLP systems for tasks such as call routing, stock and bond trading, and banking by phone, among others, are already available. NLP systems usually perform two types of activities. The first is interfacing, accepting human language's input, and the second is knowledge acquisition, using the computer to read large amounts of text and understand the information well enough to summarize important points and store information so the system can be used to respond to inquiries. AI-related technologies such as expert systems, natural language processing, and artificial neural networks can improve the quality of decision support systems. They add explanation capabilities by integrating expert systems and learning capabilities by integrating ANDs and create an interface that is easier to use by integrating the NLP system. AI technologies, particularly expert systems and natural language processing, can be integrated into the database, model base, and user interface components of a DSS. The benefits include adding deductive reasoning, improving access speed, adding the capability to handle uncertainty, and simplifying query operations. Similarly, you can add AI technologies to a DIS model-based component. In addition, integrating expert systems capabilities into user interface components can improve the quality and user friendliness of a DSS. Integrating NLP can improve the effectiveness and interface too by making it easier to use, particularly for decision makers who are not computer savvy. Virtual assistants such as Siri, Alexa, and others have made interface with mobile devices easier and more conversational. This type of interface makes a DSS easier to use and more interactive, and this is how integration of AI technologies could make DSS more user-friendly. It provides such information based on a user's previous behavior and the user's current location. Humans make decisions based on what they know and how they feel about something, drawing on experiences they've accumulated throughout their lives. Contextual computing refers to a computing environment that's always present, can feel our surroundings, and, based on who we are, where we are, and whom we're with, offer recommendations. The principle behind contextual computing is that computers can both sense and react to their environments, similar to how human brains understand and interpret stimuli.